their character res reminds me of like an Enderman from Minecraft. Uh, like, I love their design. Like, don't think that's an insult. I fucking love Minecraft and I love Enderman and I love this design. It's so cute. What is up you guys? Karma here and we are back with His Fragile Mind and I am back to where we died last time and so far I haven't lost a single heart so we still have like I think two antidepressants left and um, a full three hearts so we are pretty set. Hopefully this run will get us pushed through and then we can just forget everything that happened to our poor little Felix. I've realized that he gets frozen if he's stuck in any of the red sections. Like, he literally cannot pass through them. So, the best course of action is to just get him stuck in a red spot, like, touching it, or just have one between him. Because even if the monster isn't there, it registers as, like, a wall that he can't walk through. See how he gets, like, stuck right there? Like, see, look. He can't get us right here. So, if we run here, and then come down, we are good. And see, once again, he can't get us here. <laughs> we just kind of let ourselves be trapped inside. Oh, shit, he got it. All right. Give it to me. All right. Hey, throw it. Fuck yeah. Come on now. You're so cute playing with my doggies. They could be the main dish of the next show. Unruly clowns torn apart on display. He must have manipulated them all. I'm sure of it. I'll show them who you really are. <laughs> you think anyone will believe you? How adorably naive. That's where your luck runs out. Taste the real whip, boys. Just don't disgust the audience with your ugly crying faces. Okay. Can I use my thing to save right now? In a real life? Oh, I can't? Okay. Well, fuck me. That's alright. We'll just vibe here. Try to keep them stuck the best I can. Oh god. Oh no, please. Fuck me. If we can just keep them running in a group, oh god. Please hurry. Oh my god. Oh my god, let me out, let me out. Let me out, let me out. Oh god, bro. Okay. Okay, we're safe. Oh god, no, please! Oh, okay. Let's take another antidepressant. Uh, okay. I think we, we're almost okay. Okay. Oh god. Oh, you found the torch? Oh, buddy. Oh, it's about time. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Okay. Oh, shit, bro. Oh no, we're down to our last thing. Now I just need to throw it. Oh, fuck me, you guys. Shit, did we do it? With one heart left? Oh god, I was getting so worried. Is, is our friend Felix okay now? I hear fire crackling. Oh, a telephone. What's going on? Hello? Felix? Oh yes! So Felix is not in a coma now. I did it! I made it! Really? That's so great. I'm so happy. And it's all because of you. I don't know how to thank you. There's no need for that. I'm happy I could help you. Can I come over tomorrow? I really want to talk about that more. Sure. Oh, I'm glad Felix made it out okay. And he's not actually in a coma. A few guys from her squad jumped me, but somehow I made it out. I threw myself on her and shouted everything into her face. Wow, you really did it, huh? Yeah. Turns out someone else hated her guts as well. I think my actions may have inspired him and he stood by me. Can you believe it? That's great. If the two of you broke out, more people will soon follow. A little revolution. I just hope your wounds heal quickly. Aw, Felix. I don't even care about that. 
I'm proud of them. It's a sign of how I changed, a symbol of my victory. Now, I'm a changed man. I'll apologize to everyone and call my parents, tell them my story, and after that, we'll see. I'm sure it'll be better than before. I'm glad you're alright, Felix. That's great to hear. I hope it all works out. And it's all because of you. I hope you don't mind if I hit you up every once in a while. I'd like to stay in touch. Of course, buddy. No problem. You're a smart kid with a bright future. You know where to find me. Great. Thanks. You really saved me. Aw, Felix. It's not a problem. Everybody needs a little saving sometimes. Act one and fuck yeah, we saved Felix. Hell yeah. Woo! Whoop whoop whoop! Alright, who's our next target? <laughs> I never really stood out at school. I was a regular, decent student without a lot of friends, but I still served as class rep and helped whenever I could. Now that I think about it, maybe it was this need for helping others that made me stand out after all. When I saw him sit all by himself on every recess for weeks, I simply couldn't help myself. Alright. Well. Let's see. Talk to her? No. Hmm. Maybe this person. Hey. Uh, hi. Something's wrong? Well, yeah, can you not see? Eh, look at you munching on this sandwich alone ruins our meal. Simple. Well, I can just go to the cafeteria if it bothers you that much. Eh? You just don't get it, do you? Come sit with us. I don't know if you remember us, but I'm Niel, and sitting there is Emmy. What? But I'm fine here. By myself. Well, we couldn't tell. It means that you should better work on your acting. Now stop whining and come to us before the break ends. Uh, fine. Their character res reminds me of like an Enderman from Minecraft. Uh, like, I love their design. Like, don't think that's an insult. I fucking love Minecraft and I love Enderman. And I love this design. It's so cute. Just like the black slender physique and the purple eyes. Come on, buddy. You're my new friend. I'm taking you under my wing. And that was the beginning of our friendship. A tad forced, sure, but... A wall mint intervention made Liam spend every day after that together with me. Whenever I suggested spending more time with Emmy, he would agree, after a visible moment of hesitation. Oh, I'm glad. Oh, that looks so sad. Liam was the son of a famous artist who tragically committed suicide. All she left Liam was great talent, bad memories, and a fear of women. He was my only friend, save for Emmy. Our ridiculous, shy attempts at conversation soon turned into unending debates about the world, art, our lives. Please don't tell me something happened to Liam. Despite him being the helplessly artistic type, we managed to graduate high school together. I felt needed, helpful. I felt good knowing that someone was depending on me, even if it was just a desperate attempt to stay afloat. I wanted to be the one to save him from everything, but just how selfish was that of me? Oh god, something happened to him, didn't it? No! Because it's just him and Emmy now. I think I'm feeling better, you know? It's still not it, but there's hope for me. Maybe I'll go back soon. That's great. I'm happy for you. Mm-hmm. I feel like doing something today. Maybe I'll go for a walk to the park. Aren't y'all already taking a walk in the park? The fuck? Oh, I was also thinking about it. The weather's really nice today. Y'all are already walking in the park! Yeah, you should do it. So? So I'll see you tomorrow at work? Thank you, Emmy. Okay, then. It's quite pleasant out here. Yeah, it does seem so. Still got that creepy dude in the back, but, you know, it is what it is. Kids playing on the playground. Ooh, a baby stroller. All alone? Oh. Oh no, oh no, no, no. Why now of all times? Are you okay? 
Do you need some help? No, no, really, I'm... Oh, no. No problem at all. Really. Th thank you. Damn, she clumsy. She me for real. Are you okay? You seem shaken up. Did something happen? Sorry? Ah, it's, it's just... I was worried that... Um... No, it's nothing. But thank you for your help. Well? Um... But I do have some cookies if you'd like. As a token of my gratitude. Sure. Gladly. My stomach keeps growling so fucking loud. I wish you gave me them cookies for real. I need to eat. Holy shit, I'm starving. They're delicious. Did you make them yourself, ma'am? <laughs> you may call me Yulia. We seem to be the same age. I did, yes. But I don't have anyone to enjoy them, so if you like them... Right. The kid is probably too young for sweets. Is it your... Yes, he's my son. Soon to be one year old. His name is Luca. Can be a real handful sometimes. <laughs> I see. That mark on your hand? W what? No, it's nothing. I just... Uh... It's nothing. I swear to God, girl, if you're getting beaten by someone, like if you're in a poor domestic situation, we can we can stop this. We can have an intervention, you know. I'm not pushing you to talk. Because I'm not going to let a homegirl get hurt by some nasty-ass man. Alright, let's talk to the purple-haired bitch again. I hate, like, that she fucking looks like me. Look, we got the purple do. Like, she's also wearing a shirt that has a little titty cutout. Or maybe that's not supposed to be a titty cutout. Maybe it's just a triangle. I don't know, but I want to, I want to believe it's a titty cutout. Just so, like, I look like her. Like, she, she's my evil twin, you know? <laughs> oh, lord. Pfft. Haven't given up yet. Aren't your wounds reason enough? You're such a fool. As usual. It's not yet too late. In any case, I won't come and save you. You know full well that I... What you, deep down inside, think of yourself. Act 2. I guess we're gonna help Yulia this act. I'm down. Oh, well, what's that noise? Sounds like a plane or an ambulance something falling oh it's so peaceful here really pretty landscape too i should take a good look around it's like a bee's nest that fell lots of butterflies i guess not i'm just dumb but i must admit these flowers smell very nice i'm assuming the different acts are just like how the people perceive situations in their head and the kind of person they are I mean, Felix is the one that he kind of, like, conjured up the whole circus. And I'm assuming Yulia just, like, this is inside her mind. Just the nice peacefulness. So maybe here it's actually not from Niel's perspective. And he's, like, a superhero saving. Maybe it's from the person needing help. And that's why he's a superhero. Because in their minds, he's a superhero helping them, you know? And this is, like, an inner world. Like, inside their mind, you feel? I don't know. Just a theory. Oh, the little burbs. Okay. Ooh, water. Hey, it's Yulia. Huh? Um. Hi. Oh, thank goodness you were walking by. Mind helping me push this boat onto the water? I can't do it by myself. Ah, the boat? Sure, no problem. Because see, it's like she's in her own little world and then like a superhero is coming to save her. That is what superheroes are for. A superhero? You? <laughs> hey, come on. Okay, okay, I'm not laughing. I'm Yulia, and who are you, my superhero? Uh, I'm Niel. Nice to meet you. So, will you help me? Sure. Oh, it floats! Great, let's go. What? You did not mention sailing. Hey, come on now. It'll be fun. Stop pulling me. 
Would you like to save? Yes. Would I like to know how to survive? Also, oh, yes. Lead the boat across the river so it doesn't crash into obstacles. Watch out for water, whirlpools, floating logs, flora, as well as islands on rocks. Remember, you have to press the right button several times to make the boat change its track. Okay, well, I am ready then. Well, let's do this. And what do you think? It is very relaxing, I have to admit. Uh-huh. Feel the pleasant breeze. It's the best feeling in the world. Yes, I do. Where are you sailing, anyway? Well, forward? Huh, <laughs> it's kind of a journey of my life. All I've always wanted was to travel, see the world, be free. Do you know how great it is to just leave your house with only the few necessary things, not knowing where you'll end up? But it always works out in the end. And it becomes the adventure you've always dreamt about. Oh no, so this is like foreshadowing, that's what happened with Yulia. She probably just packed up her shit and left at whether to leave an abusive situation or something, and now it's just like, oh, I'll go wherever the wind takes me, and now she's... Everything hasn't worked out so far like she wanted. Is it not dangerous? Eh, what's life without some danger? I love her little smile, too. It's like the little cat smile, like little three. I guess. Speaking of which, hold on tight! We're entering a little bit of a wild stretch of the river. Ready to maneuver? What? How do I do that? Take the paddle and keep us away from danger. Don't worry, I'll help you. Alright. Oh, shit. Oh my god, already? Ah. Uh, fuck me. That was bad. Oh god. Haha, <laughs> you suck. If it wasn't for me, we'd crash for sure. Talk about a superhero. W water's kind of my kryptonite. Every superhero has one. <laughs> okay then, you'll make up for it next time. I believe in you. That's okay, because we... Nope, shut up. Shut up, bitch. Shut up. We're gonna restart. <laughs> because I ain't no failure. I'm gonna do the same shit I did with Felix. I'm gonna make sure that things are right. Okay. Oh, shit. I didn't need to know. It's okay. We'll just skip the dialogue. Man, it's just the boat went so fucking fast. Alright. Uh, let's see if I can do it. Yep, let's go. Alright, we're ready. Okay. Did we do it? Oh, oh, fuck me. All right, one last try. Damn it. I thought I was in the clear, but I guess not. <laughs> All right, skip, 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 because we already read this dialogue. And regardless, this is not canon, because I'm just going to reset the game again. All right. Boom, boom. And back to skipping the dialogue. We'll give it one more try, and if I fail miserably, then we'll just stop the video. Oh shit, I said yes again. Then we'll just stop the video, and um, I will complete it, and then like start it. Just like I've been with all the other like little minigame things, you know? Just so y'all don't have to sit there and watch me fail a million times. Alright, well, let's see if we can get it. Come on, come on! We got this. Third try is a charm. Okay. Oh my god, fuck me. Alright, well, <laughs> well then in that case, I guess this is the end of the video because we're already nearing up on the 20 minute mark. And I, I don't think it's worth to try to squeeze another run in there or record, you know, 30 seconds of footage after I finally beat it. So I'll just end it for now. If you guys are enjoying the game so far and you want to help out Yulia like we did Felix, make sure you're subscribed and have the notification icon turned on so you can see when I upload next. And we will get back to it, you know, saving people, be a, being a superhero. So yeah, can't wait to see you guys with the next video. Bye-bye.